Whether on the course or on your desktop, the secret to success is your swing. In Microsoft Golf, you control your swing with this swing gauge. The top of the gauge, or the 12 o'clock position, indicates how much power you put into a swing. If the lines go over to about 1 o'clock, you're putting in more power. If the lines stay at about 11, you're hitting more gently. The bottom of the gauge indicates the accuracy of the stroke, or the snap. Snap a little early, and your stroke will hook to the left. Snap a little late, and you will slice to the right. How much will depend on the power of the hit. You control the power and the snap with your mouse. Place the cursor on the swing button. Click and hold the left mouse button until the swing gauge shows the power you want. Release the button. When the stroke reaches the bottom, click once more for the snap. When your power and snap are just right, there will be markers at the 12 and 6 o'clock positions. Your ball will go right toward the aim marker. When you want to use a chip shot, the gauge changes, but the concept remains the same. You don't use as much power, but you should still be conscious of the snap. The mouse sequence is click and hold, release for power, then click again for snap. When you putt, the gauge looks more familiar. Here, the mouse sequence is click and hold, release for power, then click again for snap. There's another way you can control the mouse. If you set it in three-click mode, you won't have to hold the button down during the swing. Before beginning a game, select your player, then select Edit. You'll see the Edit Player Appearances screen. Choose the Preferences button. One of the preferences is the three-click option. Choose it, then select OK. Now the mouse sequence will be click once to begin the swing, click again when the stroke reaches the top of the gauge for power, and click a third time when it reaches the bottom for snap.